let's get to this word let's get to this word <laughs> let's get to this word man some of these videos may be having a underlying maybe the same underlining theme or a topic to it that's because that's god putting this on my heart to make these videos and keep hitting this topic because truthfully the world is beyond lost especially my generation and he puts it on my heart to bring people to the light and show them okay that they're in darkness and they know that they're in darkness and to just stop trying to lie to yourself about it so let's get straight into the scripture and then I'll explain this background uh, later so we're gonna start at Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, Watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Today's video is about the flesh. Because truthfully, the flesh is, is the one thing Satan is using to keep people lost and far 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 away from Christ far away from God and his purpose for your life he uses the flesh against you to keep you confused because people are so in love with the flesh so let me continue to read Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 so I say walk by the spirit and you will not Gratify the desires of the flesh. Walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to your, to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each, with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. <laughs> They're in contrary to each other, so you won't so you won't do what you want to do. The flesh is gonna to continue to pull against you, pull you away from your spirit, so that way you cannot do the things that your spirit actually wants to do. And what your spirit wants wants to do is, is what God has for your life, ultimately. Your true fulfilling life. So let's continue to read. Galatians chapter 5, verse 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. They're obvious. It's, it's clear as day. But people choose to ignore them. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality. Impurity. And a, and a debauchery. Idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before. That those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. I want to continue to read. Now, I had this just sectioned out, but I'm going to continue to read. But the fruit 
of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, for forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As I read these scriptures, don't just listen to me read the scriptures. Don't just listen to me speak these words of wisdom and truth. Think about yourself. This, this book is the realest thing. This book, the Holy Bible, is the realest thing on this planet. No thing, no human can compare to this book. This book is the truth. But people hate the truth. It's because they're in love with their flesh. Shout out to Forever Blessed Ministries. He goes and he does street preaching, right? And it's so evidently clear. Look, you can see the shame on their faces. He's I wish I could have played the video, but I don't wanna I didn't want to play it, so I took a screenshot. Look at these three gentlemen's faces, bro. Like, look. He's over here talking about God, saying scripture. Look at their faces. This isn't anger. This isn't happiness. This isn't sadness. This is shame. <laughs> this is shame being hidden. They're just like, they're in line, you know, doing what the typical guy of this generation does, which is be slave to pretty much the urges of their flesh, be slave to women and chasing after sex. Didn't mean to rhyme right there, but <laughs> their faces says it all. Like they're in line trying to have a good time. Like before he came, they would have been smiling. But since he came speaking the truth, their faces are just disturbed. They can't even hide it because the shame is in their faces, in their eyes. Because they know, okay, they ultimately come out here to chase after some more tail, chase after the fleshly urges, and they know that they can't control it. This is what they got to do to satisfy the flesh. Let me tell you something if you, if you didn't know already. The flesh will never be satisfied. The flesh is insatiable. It, it, it can never be satisfied. It's going to continue to pull you and draw you to do these things to satisfy the flesh when ultimately you will never be satisfied. This goes for women too. How many hookups do you have to do to be actually satisfied? How many one night stands? H how many is it going to take? I'll wait. Somebody leave in the comments and let me know. Give me a number. Whatever number you give, it, you will never be satisfied. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. <laughs> and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted Beyond what you can bear. But. But. When you are tempted. He will also provide a way out. So that you can, can endure it. This is your answer. I didn't want to just read scriptures about. Okay. What temptation does and was out here. Because y'all pretty much know. Y'all just act, people are pretty much acting disingenuous, like, oh, like, no, it's it's okay, like, no, because I was that guy, too. I was out there trying to go club and all that, especially, I even did it, I was even worse, I even did it after God showed me a way, showed me a way out so I can endure it. He led me to the gym, but I took my blessings that God gave me to the gym and the peace that the gym gave me, and I tried to use it 
for bad and going to get women. I'm no different than these guys. The only difference is I've just been saved. I've been delivered. God has delivered me from my flesh. God ain't gonna just, God is gonna provide a way out. If you search for him, he's the way out. This is in the book. This is in the Bible, the Holy Bible. I don't want these videos to be like, okay, bad, 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 you're doing bad, bad, bad without having an answer. I've been trying to tell people like, God is the answer. This book, the word is the answer. But you have to humble yourself. You don't know. You, you can't lean on your own understanding thinking you know or thinking somebody else, seeing somebody else do something. Man, look, I've learned firsthand that listening to man, mortal man, mortal man isn't perfect. Mortal man has flaws. Mortal man makes mistakes. Listening to mortal man has, what's the term people use nowadays? Pretty much green lighted me into just almost making me going crazy. When I could have just picked up this book and got the actual truth for myself. And this that this is what the this is what Satan's gonna dress it up as when it comes to your flesh. Fun, 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 fun. Enjoyment, enjoyment, enjoyment. This is this is what he's gonna dress it up as. Halloween parties. Oh, fun, fun, fun. When there's a whole bunch of witchcraft and demons behind these Halloween parties, and there's a whole bunch of wickedness behind them. He's gonna dress it all up as fun. And the weak are gonna fall to it. They're gonna fall for his traps. Especially the weaker vessels, the women. Because nowadays, all the women want to do is just fun, 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 fun. Oh, the girls just want to have fun, go out, drink, go out in the club, get attention, get validation. You're looking for validation through the wrong areas. Your validation, your validation is to come through God, through the scripture. Because this will ultimately this will ultimately fulfill your validation needs. When you're moving right through God, it will fulfill it. And if you're thinking in your head, I'm trying to think like a person who's who's my age or younger who's thinking like, okay, this pursuit of Christ. If you're thinking like, oh, it's too hard, oh, I'm not perfect, like I'm not finna sit here and be a perfect person when I know I'm not a perfect person. It's not about being perfect. And to keep it true, to keep it real with you, if you know what's good for you, keeping God's commandments are not burdensome. They're easy. Going on clubs and paying $30 to get into a club, that's harder than following God's commandments. Run, trying to run so much game to talk to a girl and get a girl, that's harder than keeping God's commandments. I don't even know how long this video is even going, but <laughs> I just I want to I'll be trying to make these short videos, but I really I really get going on this because it's like I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be lost. I know how it feels to be chasing after something that's a constant urge, a constant itch, a constant pleasure seeking thing you're trying to chase, and if you don't achieve it. Or you don't get it, you're stressed out, and then you're trying to get it again. You're trying to find new ways to get it. You're trying to change this about yourself to get it. Change this way about yourself to get it. You're changing all these God-given gifts, all these God-given characteristics about yourself just to be more like the world. And it's ultimately going to drive you nuts. It's going to drive you crazy. Because I was... I, I was about to go crazy. I was about to go crazy. Listen to me. I was about to go nuts, man. I was like, and this is a testimony that I didn't even predict, that I didn't even, I wasn't even trying to say for this video. I want to keep it on topic, but I was trying to do any and everything to change myself just for the sake of getting more box. <laughs> just for the sake of getting more box. 
more premarital sex, more adultery. And I was about to go crazy because ultimately I knew that the gifts I had, just my natural self, it didn't correlate with the world. It was in contrast with the world. It was contrary to the world. So me trying to be the way I am that God blessed me to be and trying to operate that in the world with these women, it didn't work. No matter what I did, it didn't work. And I always felt myself, I always felt like the world trying to make me change so much, change my character so much just to get a woman. And I felt this deep down to my core, like, this isn't right. This is fake. This, this, this ain't right. And I finally came to the realization, like, of it all, like, the schemes of the world. And right before I was about to go crazy, I made a decision, like, I'm, I'm no longer dealing with these ways of the world because I see them for what they are. This is nuts. This doesn't make any sense. This is illogical. Romans 6 and 16. Chapter 6, verse 16. Do you know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of to whom you obey? Either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. Pick your side. Be a slave to sin, which is the flesh. And this is more than just like stuff like this. This could be gluttony, overeating. Be a slave to sin, to your flesh. It leads to death. I will be a slave to sin. In the flesh leads to death. That is Romans 6 and 16. Or of obedience, or of obedience which leads to righteousness. Being obedient to this word, to God, leads to righteousness. It doesn't lead to anxiety. It doesn't lead to depression. It doesn't lead to what else? It doesn't lead to you going out and doing this. <laughs> Wasting so much money. Look at their faces in line. Look, look at their faces. Look at this man's face. He knows. I know he knows. He's a black man. And through generations. The teachings of God is passed out through black men. He knows. He heard this from his grandma, his grandfather, or something before. He knows, but he's out there. And look at the look at the guilt on his face. The choice is just, man. Pick up this Bible, man. Like, are you tired of being lied to, deceived? Pick up the Bible. This this is the realest thing. Oh Lord Jesus, I thank you. Like <laughs> Lord, I thank you, Lord. I just thank you so much. This is the realest thing you can do for your life, truthfully. It's not about chasing after the money, becoming rich. This is the realest thing you can do for your life and for yourself. If you truly love yourself. Do is right for yourself. Pick this up. Read it. It's crystal clear. It's abundantly clear. I just want to thank God. I, th I thank the Lord. I thank, I thank my father. That he saved me from my flesh. Because I was about to go crazy. I was about to go crazy. I wasn't called to do these things. And even if somebody isn't necessarily called. 
we're all born with a God conscience. And with that God conscience, it gets corrupt through the ways of the world. Give your problems to God. If your flesh is too hard to control, it's in the beginning. Your spirit is weak. The flesh is weak. And the flesh weighs is takes over for the spirit. But the more and more you fight, the more and more you get into this word and get connected to God, that's when you really could actually that's when you really could develop a good sense of inner well-being. It's only through this word, man. Only through this word. Don't even do what I did. I thought fitness was was the all end all be all. Like I'm gonna be good by fitness. If fitness works, the Bible says the man worketh. <laughs> the man don't work, he don't eat. Fitness is, fitness is good. It's good for the mental health. But it only works to a certain degree. This Bible, the Word, God, Lord, this is truly what you should be searching to, going to, and chasing for your inner well being. Not weed, not alcohol, not chasing after another woman to get sex, thinking it's going to relieve you of your stresses, thinking the feeling is so great, it's going to uh, relieve you of your stresses. Because trust me, it's going to lead to more problems than anything. And for women, it's not a rich a rich N-I-G-G-A with money. They ain't the guy that can do whatever you want for you and let you, they ain't the guy that let you do whatever you want because that's what it seems like the women of this generation want. They just want a man to let them do whatever they want. <laughs> that's what they want. They don't even know, they, they, they want weak men nowadays. That's That's what that is. But this word, this word has all your answers. It's not in the world. That's my last time saying it. I hope this video was able to help. I preach what, why am I saying preach? Oh man, I mean, I just, I just need to accept it. Yeah, I'm, I'm spreading the truth. It is the gospel. God put this on my heart because my generation is troubled and it's only going to get Satan's schemes are only gonna get to it's only gonna get worse. So I'm just doing God's work to try to lead people close to the light. If this video helped you, share it. I don't care if you don't think they're going to watch it. Share it. Because in some form or fashion, I'm about to close it off with this. In some type of way, people see the signs. People are out here living with the flesh, sinning, living with the ways of the world. They see the signs. But they choose to ignore them. Look. He see the signs. He chooses to ignore them. He see the signs. Look at their arms. That's that guilty look. That's that. That's that. They like this. <laughs> they like this. That's that. When you get caught by the father, and you know you're in trouble. He see the signs. He know. That way, when it's time, when when it's all said and done, when. When the Messiah returns to save his people, his children, the ones that have been obedient, you can't say, I didn't know. <laughs> you won't be able to say, I didn't know. 
You just was ignoring the signs. Thank y'all for watching this video. You be blessed.